It's another edition of SVG Sports Tech On Demand, taking you inside the latest and greatest in sports video production technology, especially on the live side, where we're going to be talking to our friends at Amagi. We're very pleased to be joined by Srini, who's one of their co-founders over at Amagi. Srini, it's a fantastic to see you. Hope you and everyone are doing well. How's everyone doing at the company right now? Uh, everyone is good. Thank you. Thank you for having me here, Brandon. All, cool. all good. Yeah, of course. Thanks for thanks so much for taking the time. Uh, you guys are one of the leaders in uh, cloud live broadcast right now. So I'm wondering, as you kind of take a look at uh, and you know entertainment in general, but certainly sports specifically, what do you kind of see as the biggest challenge facing the industry right now? A lot of people have aggressively gone into the cloud over the past year if they weren't already doing that. So what are the biggest challenge that you're seeing currently here in 2021? And maybe what is your company doing specifically to combat that? Sure, sure, Brandon. Uh, let me put it this way. Again, more than a challenge, I would say there are tons of new opportunities uh, for sports broadcasters that I think uh, cloud can play a big role uh, in addressing uh, some of those opportunities. Uh, I think the biggest change that we are seeing across the industry is primarily the entire shift towards OTT or connected TV viewing from traditional broadcast viewing. Traditional broadcast, as we all know, is struggling to keep subscribers. People are moving much more online. Uh, and I think, you know, the entire shift from traditional broadcast to online brings its own set of opportunities or challenges, mm -hmm. if you will, right? You need much more agility. You can drive a lot more innovation in terms of business models that you can actually bring in. We'll talk through some of those. Uh, you can actually bring in tons of interesting technologies to make the entire viewing experience, you know, much more immersive, interactive, and much more engaged, if you will. Mm -hmm. and, and I think many of the traditional television networks, if you will, are sit, still sitting in the old paradigm of produce once, deliver once. I know, and, you know, and the viewers are watching it in that single lean back, you know, uh, linear viewing fashion. If you look at the opportunities, if you will, uh, in terms of, you know, some of the newer, you know, OTT business models present one, you know, being able to create not just one channel, but multiple channels based on special interests, deep fan engagements, you know, specific events, take an example like Olympics, classic opportunity where you could come in and create specialty channels. Right, you know, around each sports, around you know, key players, right, that would not have been possible in a traditional broadcast world. Now, if you were to do this in a in an on-prem, you know, uh, data center-based stuff, that means you have to, you know, plan for tons of more hardware equipment that you're going to use once in four years at best, if you had the rights, right, and probably never. So, just did not make sense for you to do that in the traditional world. But with cloud, you can decide to increase your capacity dynamically based on this specific event for this two months, and then bring that down completely once the event once the event is over. So, provides you with opportunities to go engage with the different audience interests with much more content that you might have. Leverage all the content that you got, all the rights that you got, all the you know ancillary you know, material that you can prepare around the event to leverage that, you know, fan interest and maximize the revenue that you would get. That's one massive opportunity uh, that this presents. And I think cloud is really great, uh, you know, platform for you to leverage that opportunity, one. Uh, and two, I think, you know, as part of this, you know, the, the other bigger, the bigger questions are, uh, is some of this is going to be, you know, watched as a live uh, event. Some of this would be watched you know, people would tune in later, you know, they would watch it as on demand and such. Now the question is how soon can I get my live recording to an on-demand world where people are searching, chasing? So how do I actually make this whole flow seamless where I can actually go from you know instant live to you know pretty much you know near live experience with an on-demand world? Uh, and how do you actually create those entire workflows to do that? That's the second challenge. And I think cloud again um, can tremendously help there. Uh, three is can I what sort of data and enrichment can I provide over these live events? Can I have my operator you know provide you know metadata around that during the live event that could be timed and that could be provided that could that could then be used in my direct to consumer app uh, to provide you know either player statistics 
you know, game statistics, other information that can really, you know, help user engagement much, much more. So the question is, how do I capture all of that metadata and have that passed along all the way to my direct, direct to consumer app? These are some of the opportunities, for instance, uh, that an ODT engagement actually, you know, provides. Of course, from a challenge perspective in terms of live production, of course, you know, you no longer can afford, given the pandemic, given the cost, to send tons of people over a plane uh, to that remote facility to produce. So how do I do remote cloud-based production, you know, work from home collaboration? How do I do live closed captioning, you know, leveraging newer technologies like AI, ML, rather than actually, you know, tons of, you know, closed captioners sitting in a room and actually, you know, typing, typing away. Right. Those are, again, interesting opportunities and challenges. And I think, you know, companies like Magi are solving very well. Sure. And I know you guys are doing some pretty interesting stuff on the digital ad insertion side. So uh, exciting times. Uh, I definitely agree with a lot of those things that you were laying out there. So for those interested in more about what your company does, what are some of the solutions that maybe they should look to if they're looking to solve or take advantage of some of those opportunities that you just laid out? Absolutely. Uh, our, our core flagship product is called Amagi Live, uh, which is a live production, live orchestration product, which allows you to do, you know, again, completely virtual cloud-based live production and orchestration of real-time, you know, multiple live, live feeds that are coming in, add real-time graphics, you know, either third-party graphics or native graphics on top, do all the orchestration, uh, you know, all the, you know, closed captioning, subtitling, whatever you might need, add commentary, you know, or do all of that completely virtually and then deliver uh, either one or multiple streams out to, you know, different regions, which could all be localized, whether masked out, you know, based on rights that you might have in specific regions or, you know, with different content, different ads, all of that using a single virtual platform that could be operated from a browser, you know, your browser on your iPad or your, you know, Mac or laptop, whatever that you might have. Uh, so that's our, you know, primary uh, flagship product that is used by tons of sports broadcasters around the globe uh, for both broadcast as well as OTT today. And I believe, I mean, as Amagi, uh, we have the largest sports-based live broadcasting on the cloud today globally. So that, that certainly is one. Two, on the dynamic ad insertion side that, as you mentioned, Brandon, we have a product called Thunderstorm, which allows you to do real-time, personally targeted programmatic advertising within the live streams uh, based on study markers or other timed data, metadata that you might have, either to do L bands or you know, lower thirds, side by side, picture in picture or video ads within the stream. Very cool. All right, he is uh, Srini. He's one of the co-founders at Amagi. Srini, we really appreciate you taking the time and sharing your expertise with us. Uh, we wish you guys nothing but best going forward, all right? Thank you so much. All right. To learn more about the company and to see some more interviews with some other tech vendors from around the industry, head on over now to sportsvideo.org.